Here is the R31 canister formula for the three belt drive train. Parts you're gonna need. Search up R2 hobbies, you're gonna grab from the pulley set. The 22, the 21, the 15, and the 14 it comes on a part tree. Uh, Broadtech, you're also gonna buy the 36 tooth pulley. You're gonna need this for the rear. Here is the fabled canister formula that everybody's looking for. Go ahead, stop, pause the video, write this down, you're gonna need this. Here we go. Front to rear, I got them labeled A, B, C, D, E, and F. Here's the formula. You're going to plug in these values. The numbers that I use for my setup are, I got 39, 15, 22, 14, 21, and 36. We're going to do that formula. We're going to plug in the numbers and do the math. I got my first, my first set of values here. Drop down, doing my math. Drop down again. Once I'm done, I equal with 2.40. What this means in the counter steer world for every one rotation the front is making, the rear is going to go 2.40 times faster. So what that really means is uh, I take my value, my final counter value, the 2.40, subtract the 1, drop the decimal. You get 140%. Another example of that is let's say your final value is 2.20, drop, drop it by 1, get rid of the decimal, you get 120. So that 2 becomes a 100%, 1.95 becomes 95% counter steer. Here's the car. I got the 39, the 15, 22, 14, 21, and 36. Uh, keep this in mind when you're changing out pulleys that for every, uh, for however many teeth you go up on one pulley, you got to go down on the other one so that you keep your, your belt tension just perfect. You don't want it too loose or too tight. If it's too tight, it won't spin. You might actually break an axle. If it's too loose, your, your belt will actually be slipping on your pulleys, and that's disastrous. You're not going anywhere. The front's a 39, and this front middle is a 15. Um, I didn't bother going up on this one because the adjustable cams inside of the bulkhead allows me to make the belt tension just right. So this 18, the stock 18, went down the 15 right here. Now the middle rears, uh, normally stock, like I said, is 18. Uh, this 18 went up by 4, and this 18 went down by 4. So this is a 22 and a 14. Now for the rear, the middle rear and the rear. I've got right here, uh, this is a 21, and this is a 36. Stock is supposed to be 18 and 39, so I went up by 3 on this one right here, and I went down by 3, keeping my belt tension perfect. Um, also, if you want to calculate counter steer percentage on two belt drive systems, for example, like the TA05 or the Yokomo DRB, here is a formula for that. You can stop here, write this down. I got them labeled A, B, C, and D. So it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot simpler. A divided by B, B divided by D divided by C. So on one of my old kits, I had a 36 pulley, 16, 16, 18. You're going to plug it in numbers and do the math. Drop down, do the math, drop down. I ended up with a value of 2.0, meaning for every one rotation in the front, the back was spinning two times faster. So like I said before, two, drop it by one, get rid of the decimal. So that was 100% counter steer. Uh, also visit my friend's, my friend's video, uh, Killer Sushi 99 on YouTube. He's got a lot of our videos there. You'll see the red Dagocyto Chaser, and you'll also see the Team Orange Subaru. Um, you'll also be seeing my friend Sean driving a blue uh, Yokomo 180, I'm sorry, One Via. Uh, you'll be seeing Steve driving the White Chaser as well. So please enjoy those vids and hopefully one day we might actually get the drift together.